Today we're going to be talking about Udio AI. This is a music generation AI tool and it was developed by uh, some engineers that came from Google DeepMind. Uh, it's kind of the buzz around the internet right now just because the results are so good. I think we're all going to be questioning every song that we hear moving forward, you know, whether it's real or fake. Huh? And I can think of so many use cases for something like this, you know, musicians for new compositions, producers for music samples, uh, content creators like me for background music on YouTube videos. So I'm very excited. The best part about it is that it's completely free, at least for right now. Um, it's in beta testing, so they let you generate up to 1200 songs per month, completely free. Using Udio is very simple. So we'll go to udio.com and then you can create a free account on the top right. And then when you get to the home screen here, you have the option to listen to what's trending in the staff picks, or you can type in your own prompt here at the top, similar to most AI software. If you're not feeling creative, you can just roll the dice here and it will come up with a random prompt for you. If you are feeling creative, what you can do is just freeform text and then any tags that you have. So here are some examples with their suggested tags, things like pop, classical, blues, experimental. Those are all going to be separated at the end of your freeform text with a comma. So an example that I came up with is happy song about a puppy, uh, puppy dog. The tags that I have are sunshine, warm, and horns. So let's go and go ahead and create this and see what it comes up with. After a couple minutes, we did get our results. So let's give them both a quick listen. Okay, so you can see that both the songs are different. They do generate two tracks with every prompt that you put in. But additionally, what you can do with the prompt is reference it to an artist or a band. What we'll do is just kind of keep the same prompt here, but we're going to put um, in the style of Queen. And then we're going to add a tag for Rock. And let's create this and see what we get. So what Udio does in this case is takes the artist that we use, so Queen, and then adds tags that would hopefully get us something close to what that would sound like without actually stealing, you know, Queen's sound. So let's give these a listen. Okay, so not perfect, but um, as you can imagine, you can get extremely creative with the tags or the style references that you use in your prompts to get what you're looking for. So you've created a song that you like, and it's only 32 seconds long. The next logical question is, how do you make it longer? And this is where the extend feature comes into play. So once you have your song, you can click extend, and from there you have the option to either extend it forward, extend it backwards, or create an intro or an outro. And you can do this for up to 10 sections, uh, meaning that you could make a song that's just over five minutes long. If you're looking to create a full song, um, so about a minute and a half in length, what Udio suggests to do is create your main track, which is kind of the meat and potatoes of your song, and then go in and add your intro. And now we have two options for songs that are both a minute in length. And what it did from there is create an intro. Blue skies above and the sand at our feet. And the and middle of our track remained the same. Feel the way. And from there, they say to extend once more. So I like this second song more. And then we would add an outro. So once we do that, we're going to end up with a song that is a minute and a half long. Perfect, so now we've got a song that has 
uh, a minute and a half in length. It's got an intro. It's got the middle, which was similar to before. And it has an outro. Nice. So again, pairing these three things together, creating the middle of the track, the meat and potatoes, extending it to the front for the intro, and then the backside for the outro gives you a nice minute and a half track, which, I mean, this song in my mind is pretty good. So I'm happy with that. The last thing to note is when you do click extend, it does automatically populate your current prompt in there, but you can um, change the prompt up. Uh, the reason they put your current prompt in, in there is to kind of keep it consistent with the style of the first song that you created, but you could change this prompt up and have very large variation from the beginning of your track to the middle to the end, if you prefer. The next amazing feature that they have on Udio is Remix. So going back to our original 30 second clip, what we'll do is click the Remix button and you can see this pulls up another menu. So the first option you have is to change your original prompt. And you can see here there's a custom variance slider. So if you want it to be really similar, but you want to change the prompt, go like this. And if you want it to be far different, you can crank it all the way up. And we'll dive into custom lyrics in a minute, but um, you can see that the lyrics of the song that we created previously are in this section. And if you wanted to change them up, you do have the option to do so. All right, let's dive into those custom lyrics. So we'll go back into our prompt and for the lyric section, you can see that it's set to auto-generated as the norm. Uh, you can also select instrumental if you prefer. And then lastly, you can select custom, which does exactly what you probably assume. You can make your own lyrics. Or in this case, uh, have ChatGPT do it for you. So I did ask ChatGPT to create me a pop punk song, and that's gonna be what we're gonna use as the lyrics. And then Udio suggests to put your descriptor words, so things like your verse and your chorus, within brackets. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You can also see on the bottom right, there is a little tip they have here for the lyrics. They're saying that this clip is only gonna be 30 seconds long. So try not to use too many lines because they're not gonna be able to fit them all in there. In our case, we do have eight lines instead of six, so we'll see how it goes. But the last thing that we have to do is just write a uh, prompt. So we're gonna just put a song about pop punk. <laughs> For our tags, we're gonna do pop rock and go ahead and create this and see what it comes up with. Okay, so we got both of our generations back and let's listen to the first one here. Hey there, wake up, let's hit the road. Sun's out and there's a brand new episode. Skateboards and ripped jeans. Living out our reckless dreams. We're loud, we're alive. Chasing the sparks in our teenage nights. Scream till we lose. That was crazy. You know, we got every lyric that we put in there and Udio made it a song and a pop punk song that <laughs> sounded a lot like the ones I used to listen to when I was a teenager. If Udio seems to be having a hard time pronouncing any word that you put in there, Chihuahua. they do suggest splitting it up into uh, separate phonemes just to make it easier for the system to recognize the word. Lastly, let's talk about manual mode. So this is an option on the top right of your prompt window. And what it does is basically turn off the backend processing of your freeform text. And what I mean by that is the model uh, underneath Udio is taking your freeform text and transforming it into tags and lyrics on the backend. But when you turn manual mode on, you just enter the tags and do not enter any freeform text and it outputs more directly what you're looking for. If when you put a prompt in, you're not getting exactly what you want, it might be worth a try just 
to you know test out manual mode and instead of you know a song about pop punk we might just put electric guitar bass drums alternative in here or use any of the suggested tags that they have the other thing to consider is when you're using just tags and no freeform text in manual mode the lyrics often come out really generic so they do suggest that you use custom lyrics in these situations that you're using manual mode just so that you get exactly what you're looking for so let's re-roll our pop punk song with the new tags at the top and the same lyrics below and see if we get something a little bit more what we're looking for awesome we got our two songs i listened to them both uh, they're both pretty good but this bottom one is kind of more what I was looking for. So let's give it a quick listen. To me, this is insane. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but overall, I am kind of shocked by how good the results are with this AI generation tool. Um, I've used a couple other music generators in the past and you know, they were all right, but I wasn't impressed and definitely wouldn't have used what I created in my videos or couldn't imagine anyone else using them for real purposes. But the results that I've been getting in the limited time that I've used Udio, this, this tool is good. So again, let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned for more you know, on this and other AI tools. And uh, thanks as always for watching.